She just came so we can get the car because mommy, we got to go and give the apartment back their key. You're going to go back and give them their key back? No. You don't want to? You don't, you don't want to? That don't sound like a plan? We gonna come back and get grandma. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go give them the key. We just dropped my mom off at work. Well, she was already at work. She came to get her purse and we decided that I would go ahead and take her back to work so I could have the car because I need to take the key back to the apartment. If you didn't see the video, I post the whole story time about us moving and what happened with us moving, why we didn't move, and about the apartment. So, um, I had to put in 30 days for me to get out of my lease. Oh crap, there's a crap ton of rocks right here. Um, I had to put in 30 days to get out of the lease. So today is the 30th day and I get to turn in the key and get the deposit back, which thankfully it was that easy just to, you know, do those two little things and not no whole long drawn out issue. Come on, LeVan. Oh, half a, why you ain't turn no signal on? Um, you probably worried about me vlogging. Um, so yeah, we're about to go do that now. It Mommy. is 9.30. Mommy. Huh? Mommy. Her. No, worker. She need her worker suit on? Uh-huh. Put my seatbelt on. Alright, I left y'all in the car. So, me and Jody are back home. Excuse me. Uh-huh. <laughs> we back home. I went to the apartment, gave them the keys back. Um, then I went to the bank, deposited the money. And now we back home. I'm making us some tea so far. That's it. Um, I didn't even speak on the whole clip this morning of me showing y'all grandma's birthday card. Today is my mama's birthday. Or we, she had me three days before her birthday. That was her birthday chat. Um... So, today her birthday, me and the kids made her birthday card last night. And, um, they had fun doing that. Uh, uh, um, I haven't been, like, do, I, I haven't been doing much social media here. Well, I be on, um, Instagram, like, post watching and, like, on Facebook, like, my personal Facebook but as far as like raising the leaves, I haven't been doing too much posting just because I've been in a really funky mood. If y'all been following for a while, y'all know I go through like these depressing like waves of emotion. Like every couple of months, I just get like really, really down and I don't want to bring that energy to you and let any of my negative energy, you know, come into your life and mess up all of your positive vibrations so i decided i would not record while i'm feeling like that because i don't want to put off that kind of negativity so i took a step back i haven't been recording anything 
um or really posted much of anything because I've just been in one of those one of those moods and I don't know why it happens I I really don't even know why it happens like that nothing major has really been going on like I don't know so I've been dealing with that which is why you haven't been seeing me um but I didn't like not posting like it was really killing me not posting um like believe it or not like really really killing me so I say you know what Shanice you have too many blessings actually my sister told me I got too many blessings to be stressing um in so many words and I'm like because I, I put it on my personal Facebook like that I was going through like one of the one of the many depressing stages that I have um and I got so many like my sister and aunts and like uncles have been like super super you know supportive and encouraging one of my aunts lived down in Atlanta she's like girl if you don't hop on 75 and come down here to release your stress come crack come chill come eat and it's like I tend, I have like I go through these moments where I forget that people really do love me and I'm not all by myself so it was it was really really nice so it really boosted my mood really got me to understand like girl you are too blessed to stress so I'm back so hello hi I'm back have you missed me I asked y'all on Instagram what would y'all want to see verse a vlog or a recipe video and y'all said a vlog so that's what I'm gonna do but I have some recipe videos in mind because I got this bad boy in the mail Ooh, this right here it is a Bluetooth thermometer and it is for cooking y'all know I love cooking um although it's a easy barbecue I y'all know I don't barbecue but although it's you know promoted as that you use it for anything so here it is basically a Bluetooth thermometer like you have something in the oven or anything like that you can plug it up put in your gauges and they have several different ones it does come with batteries I know most things don't come with batteries and um I wanted to um, look into one of these for Thanksgiving. If y'all follow, y'all know last year was my first Thanksgiving. Ooh, Jody, you got the cups just sitting here. Last year was my first like Thanksgiving cooking. It was like a trial run. It was just me and the kids. Shoot, oh, I almost broke it. It was a trial run. This year, I want to do the same thing with a little more, you know, you know a little extra so I'm like to ensure I was scared to do a ham because I didn't know how to tell if a ham was done I like I just don't know so I did the turkey breast which I still really didn't know and it was like killing me because I'm like too scared to you know undercook it and I don't want to overcook it and be dried out so I'm like this year I need something something that's gonna help me with this meat because the sides are nothing everything else I got but the meat the two big meats because they're so big and they are crucial to the dinner I wanted them to be you know correct I want it to still be juicy but be done so I got that thermometer to help me I, um, I'm loving the fact that it's Bluetooth that's what like drew me in with like this Bluetooth so I'm super excited to test it out and um you know start cooking with it jody joe jody joe jody joe yeah so i was gonna do um a roast and try it out before you know get do my couple test runs mm -mm. Ugh, put that so i can't wait till do that I probably do that Sunday. I know. Um, I'll probably do that Sunday and cook a roast. I can't wait. I was so happy when it came to me. I got it off Amazon. If you are looking for one similar or 
you know you like to try out new cooking gadgets like me um i'll link it below for you guys to check it out um but yeah i'm about to cook us some breakfast so we can eat good before you know it it's time to get london i was going through london folder checking her grades and she's doing so much better she didn't write her name but she got a three on this one which is as high as her teacher will go because nobody can master things that they just learned that's her teachers you know not beliefs so just looking through she got a lot of like you know checks and getting a lot of stuff done london has a struggle with paying attention so like you see she got a two and she, this is her spelling test she has been getting a one on these past couple ones although she know how to spell it she just she don't so she only got one wrong i can't even tell you what that is supposed to be though and then um she got this right her crosswords then i her uh check of understanding this is yeah and then her speak and her reading she got a three which um y'all know london got a slight uh speech issue which she's going she had been going to speech therapy for her speech therapist was pregnant so um she is now actually on maternity leave so london has not been going for like the last few weeks then she got her report card and she has all twos except in language and writing which if you i think i mentioned last year london had um delayed penmanship basically her preschool did not teach penmanship she um they just drew all the time she never really had to write and i was making her write at home but i did not have the proper knowledge and tools to help her figure out how to downpack writing. So, um, they worked with her a lot in kindergarten as well as she had occupational therapy to help her. And, um, so she's still working on it. So she got a one in that. And then to show you. Or two, yeah, too far back. Short legs. Um, as y'all see, my kids fell asleep. Like they literally had just fell asleep. Um, they was fighting at first. They was fighting under the cover over the iPad. Y'all see who won? Um, I don't know if like she just like gave up because she knew she was tired, or or how the whole situation went with them falling asleep. But um, while they're asleep, I'm sneaking out to Walmart because. We need toilet paper. We literally have half a roll of toilet paper. Um, so I'll go ahead, run off to Walmart, get some toilet paper. London, as y'all know, did super good on her report card. And um, her behavior this week at school has been really, really good, aside from today, because for some reason today, she had an issue. But um, so, and then today has been her first week of chores. Um, I haven't printed out her chore chart yet, but um, I just remind her every day what she got to do. Um, what she has been doing, so tomorrow she gets $5 for um, her chores. That's what she gets. She gets a dollar a day, and she do chores Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I don't make her do chores. I won't make her do chores Friday and Saturday because most of the time, Friday... Friday is like her end, end of the week, you know, everybody, you know, gotta go, you know, 
recuperate, enjoy their time on them Fridays, same for her. And then Saturdays is mostly the days that she go and spend the night over land at Mama House if she go anywhere that weekend. So, um, I know for a fact she always home Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So it's just better for her to do them that day. I'm, I'm happy she was asleep so I can go ahead and get this done. I'm just picking up toilet paper. Then I go ahead in the house and start cooking. I'm gonna record a cooking video today because I know y'all miss them. It's going to be another weeknight type of meal, something super quick. It's actually gonna be a bag food remake. I always buy this bag dinner. It's like the bird's eye garlic chicken. It is really, really good, but for the first time, I'm gonna try to make it myself. I don't, you wanna go, Grandma? There you go, baby. Um, I never made it by myself before, but I know what go in it, so I'm gonna wing it, and I'm gonna wing it with y'all. Y'all know, like, 90% of my recipe videos come from me winging it. I just throw some stuff together. The best way for me to remember the meals I make is by me recording, because um, that way I can look back on what I put in there. So yeah, if it's good, if it turn out good, I film it anyway if I make something new. If it turn out good, I post it. If it don't turn out good, I won't post it, but I'll try again. And then next time if I try it and it's good, I'll post it then. 